G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the Beretta PAX Storm Pistol. So this is a highly customizable pistol weapon. Don't think I need to give it much more of an intro than that, so let's get right into the attachments here. And so, for the first thing here, we've got standard receiver, and you also have the wing shooter standard receiver. Basically, every one of these receivers has a wing shooter variant, which changes the pistol a little bit. So if you look mainly around in this part, you can see that you can it changes a little bit, and also the trigger guard here changes. Now, I'm not sure the difference between what these do in real life, but I slightly look like the look of this one better, so we'll go for the Ring Shooter Advanced Receiver. Next up, for the barrels, this is like the delivery. You get the standard or an extended one. Longer barrel for obvious reasons. Yes, it is very obvious. It looks like the mod is semi-self-aware. We get a bunch of range out of that. Next up, for the grips, this thing has no um, actual physical modifications for the grips, but you're just going to have to take your word for it. For So exceptional grip is what we'll go for, for better recoil and hip fire. Sounds good. Next up, for the mags, we've got a large and quick eject versions of the standard and large. So let's go ahead and chuck in the large quick eject for the best ammo capacity. Next up, for the sights now. Now this is where it gets a little bit interesting. See. You've got the glow sights, say, on your pipe pistol, right? And you put a suppressor on, and the suppressor completely blocks the sights. Well, the same thing would happen with this weapon, but, as you can tell here, this thing has higher sights and standard sights, so for use with the silencer, you want the higher sights, and that'll just be a little bit higher on your gun, so you can actually use the sights to accurately aim your weapon, which is nice. So we'll go ahead and chuck on the glow sight for the higher one, and for the muzzle, we'll definitely go with the suppressor. And that's the only modification you can put there, much like the Deliverer. We can go ahead and chuck a rail mount on this too, which is nice. And a flashlight will go on it nicely too. Now, can I do anything with that rail mount? I probably can attach a scope if I go into the sight section. I'm not actually sure what that does, but I think that actually might obscure my aim, so that is coming off for now. Alright, so you've also got a little bit of aesthetical changes, so you've got the nickel, which changes this slide to obviously a nickel type colour, and Cathedral Carnage, which looks badass in its gunmetal grey, and all this weird patenty colour, so we'll definitely chuck on that, and there's also a legendary effect slot as per usual. Alright, let's get into Gunners Plaza, see what this bad boy can do. Righto, so here we are in Gunners Plaza, and there's not much to say about the animations of this weapon other than it's just the same as the Deliverers, just ported onto a different weapon, which works fine enough. But the one thing that this weapon does have is custom sounds, so that's very nice. Let's check this out for a second. I'm just gonna stop talking, and you can listen to this thing shoot for a bit. It looks like the Theoda Stealth, which is fun because we're getting all this bloody screen shake from all of those turrets down there, which is exceptionally annoying. I really wish you'd stop doing that, turrets. Anyway, they're down, and good thing uh, this thing does quite a lot of damage outside of doing stealth, stealth criticals because obviously um, I'd be I'd be complaining about the damage if it was. And though this is a 10 millimeter pistol type weapon. It is doing quite fine in that respect. We'll just get rid of that turret in advance. Now, uh, hip fire on this weapon is pretty good. So you're not going to have a crazy spread increase, and you can keep relatively on target there. And the rate of fire of this thing is about as fast as you can pull the trigger, meaning if you've got a mouse button one to click, you can actually shoot this thing very fast. Although it's not exactly like a Jacob's weapon that fires as fast as you can pull the trigger. Uh, you're killing me with a pretend gun there. Interesting. Looks like that mod failed to reinstall when I had to bloody gut all my mods out for the Creation Club updates. I think Bethesda hates me. Anyways, back into stealth mode here. Let's get rid of that legendary gunner. Looks like we've aggroed a lot of them down there. That should be fine. We'll just go ahead and take them all out in third person here. As you can tell, the rear kill on this is a little bit jumpy, but it's nothing you can't really handle. Looks like we've aggroed all of them now, but using our super stealthy abilities, we should be able to kill these people. Oh, we've been hit in the leg. Oh yes, I, I forgot that uh, Bridget isn't quite as tough as the regular Gunners Plaza killer. So we're going to have to take this a little bit slowly, have a stim pack in the meantime, we'll get you 
Oh, I think one of them's got a kneecap a weapon. That's what's going on, because my only my legs cripple, so obviously someone's got a kneecap a weapon. Obviously, with the kneecap a weapons, they transcend through adamantium skeletons, so that is why my legs were buggered like that. So she had an irradiated gorse rifle, chameleon. Uh, I gotta find that other legendary before. Uh, penetrating Gatling laser. That's actually not a bad drop, all things considered. Alright, enough about that. Let's just quickly kill these gunners. Knock their heads off a little bit. Oh, that one's got a minigun. Good on her. Alright, look at all those shots we get in vats there. We won't even need half of them because we're getting good sneak attack criticals. And I think we'll go ahead and take out the rest. See how good we can crit through that chandelier. She dies instantly. And you get the same treatment. Now these are legendary gunners, so they're no joke, so this seems to be doing a hell of a lot of damage per crit. And yep, I think we'll just take out that turret, and we'll finish off that melee gunner, and then we'll call it there for Gunners Plaza. So quickly running up here, up the stairs, a little bit of a cardio workout today I suppose. And quickly go into crouch mode, and shoot this guy as much as he can before he drops. So there you have it, that was the Beretta P8, PX8 Storm thingy in uh, Gunners Plaza. This thing is going to do you well, it outperforms the deliver in terms of damage, aesthetic, and also sound. So if you're looking for something like the Deliverer for the late game with a bit more punch, then this is definitely the mod to you. On to Swan now. Right, so I figured out the use for the rail mount here, so if you go ahead and equip the holographic site without the rail mount, it sort of slides there, but with the rail mount, it stays there nice locked in place. So there you have it. Um, so, with the holographic now attached to this thing, let's take on Swan now and see what this thing can do there. Okay, there's Swan over there, this thing's got a holographic site on it now, so let's go ahead and scope in and take him out. So this is a, like a mini eerie tech site, and whenever you shoot with this thing, it's like the gun uh, rears up and punches you in the face, so uh, good luck with that. Ooh, it gets right into your face, that's, even, that's, that's crazy. I think uh, we might be better off just hip firing this thing from now on, but that is a cool little sight to have on this weapon. And if it's acting like regular reflex sight, we should be able to get a little bit more VATS um, hits out of this thing, which is nice, or just a little bit less AP cost in general, so yeah, equals more VATS hits. But there you have it, that's a full VATS run on Swan. Oh, with sneak attack criticals, we are absolutely destroying his health bar. Poor old Swan hasn't seen what's killed him in the past couple of days, so he's definitely off his game. Quickly just shoot him in the head some more, and there goes Swan. Poor bugger. Anyway, so that was hit the PX Beretta thingy against uh, Swan, and you know what? It was pretty good. You'd get the same sort of mileage out of Deliverer, but this thing does it just a little bit better thanks to that extra base damage. Alright, we'll go ahead and move on to something else. Righto, so we've seen this thing's abilities in close range and killing monsters like Swan. Let's go ahead and see what this thing can do whilst crit sniping. Oh, we don't kill him instantly. That's a shame. We'll just have to crit him some more then. That's almost dead. We might be slightly out of range for this weapon right now, so we're getting a little bit worse damage out of it. We'll quickly get some of our crits back by hitting him there. And I think this is a good time to go into stealth and try to pop this dude who's usually standing behind this window here. So yeah, we should be doing a little bit better damage now that we're nice and close. Or maybe not. We're able to just quickly snipe him with a little bit of that trickery. And he goes down. Uh, let's see. There's usually a couple that line up along here. But there's a rocket guy on top we got to worry about. Is he going to come down to us. No, he is not. He's just going to stay put up there. So we'll just crit him through here and just finish him off that way. There goes the missile launcher. And it goes flying off the roof, so there's no way he'd grab it back. Yet, when we go ahead and uh, check out his corpse, he'll probably still have it on him, and that's just one of the gameplay things. And uh, Good for legendary enemies that uh, die and throw their weapon away so far that you couldn't get it to actually sort of drop when uh, drop on their corpse when you kill them. Anyway, we'll crit snipe that guy. Didn't quite get him, but luckily we've got the mysterious stranger on the case. Will he finish him? 
Nope, he'll sort of look at him and then forget why, what he was doing. Anyway, so we're out of crits now, which is a little bit of a shame. So what we'll go ahead and do is just get some concentrated fire bullets on that guy. He's only a melee guy, so he's probably not going to stick around for very long. But we'll go ahead and repeat the same thing until we can get some crits going. The trouble is, this thing is a little bit too um, efficient with the uh, stick attack criticals and the killing like that to actually sort of consistently crit snipe, which is either a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you look at it. Wow, that's a Mark 1 turret. The gunners have been not successful lately if they're going to go ahead and give me one of those things. Alright. Only just got that gunner captain um, in vats there. Any more into that brick wall, he probably would have been protected by that. Yep, not even penetrated can hit him, but... Uh, oh, we don't have that crit ready. That's a shame. Uh, we'll quickly just finish her off now. It was definitely a her. We get a level up there, which gives us all our AP back. There's a frag mine there, that's fine. We'll quickly loop around this corner and see if we can do this without being spotted at all. That would be interesting. All right, looks like that's an instant kill according to that VATS camera. And we'll go ahead and hit her some more. Okay, that's an instant, uh, just a one-shot kill there according to that VATS camera. So you can sort of predict when you're going to do a lot of damage or when you're going to kill, depending on VATS cameras sometimes. But something you sort of pick up on after playing Fallout for however many years years I've goddamn played this game for. Anyway, there's the Gunner Commander. She's the boss around here, so you've got to take her out. Luckily, she's only wearing, I think, a harness because she's meant to be in power armor, but for some reason, she couldn't be bothered stepping into her suit today, so she gets to die a stupid death. He's behind some sort of wall, so we'll just crit him to kill him. Soltron Dominator, which is a little bit on the kinky robot side, which is disturbing. We want to take that thing out as soon as possible, because it's got a mean cloak on it. So, goodbye, you stupid robot. Um, this mine keeps showing up in my damn bats thing, so you know what? I'm just going to generate a crit off you. And, you know what? You too. Probably a little bit of a waste of AP if we don't hit it after a couple of shots, but we managed to get kind of lucky there with a little bit of concentrated fire. Don't really matter, it doesn't really matter where we hit that bloke, he's going to die to a crit regardless. And up on this vantage point here, we should be right to kill the rest of them. Okay, there's a gunner captain up there. Try to crit him through there. Didn't quite get him, I think we're slightly out of range again. So that's the thing about pistols, generally your range isn't too great. So sometimes reaching out and hitting these targets with a cheeky little crit like that is the way to go. Okay, there's another one down there. Got a Grim Reaper Sprint, which means almost full AP bar. Not quite full sometimes. Uh, it fills to about 80% most of the time. I don't think it accounts for any of the ultralight build things that increase your AP, so... That's interesting, although I have looked at it in Creation Kit, and uh, I think it gives you plus 999 um, action points when you, it procs, so I don't know what's going on there, maybe the game doesn't actually take into account extra ones granted by little bits of armor. Alright, she goes down, Not, I'm pretty sure the only one left is just out of reach, so hopefully we don't break our legs after dropping. Ow. Ah, uh, she's a tough girl, she'll get over that. And, uh, we just gotta find this last bloke. Yeah, he's probably always gonna be the last one here because he's that well hidden and that well to the back and doesn't ever want to pop out. Well, luckily for you, I need to reload before I kill you, so you get a cheeky little shot on me there, but there you have it. So, this thing performs relatively well anywhere you put it, which makes it actually kind of versatile. And if you're playing this on survival, the ammo and the weight of the weapon is relatively light, so this actually makes for a pretty good weapon. And keep in mind, if you're also playing in survival, you'll be receiving, ooh, a caravan shotgun. Not a caravan shotgun, a two times damage uh, bonus there, so you can kill these raiders, or, or gunners. Shouldn't call them raiders, they're something more than gunners, they're raiders. Yeah, this thing would actually do a little bit more damage than what you were seeing, but... On very hard, it's uh, nice to test weapons to their limits. So if you'd like to see this weapon in your game, be sure to check out the description below. Thank you for watching, guys.